on youtube what's up how you guys doing so guys today i came with another reaction um these things have a direct effect on your face guys let's just get right into it of course <laughs> And people that are filled with ma'asiyah and dissipate themselves, they expend all of their energies in ma'asiyah. You will notice that by the age of 25 or 30, there is a darkness that has descended upon their faces. Ahlul ma'asiyah. See, young people, whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim or whatever, young people have a light. And that light is simply the fact that they have not accrued a lot of wrong actions. That's why if you see dark young people, you know something's seriously wrong. But there is a light in youth that is simply the vigor of youth, and it's also the fact that young people have not accrued a lot of wrongs. If you look at children, it's stunning. Why are people so attracted to the faces of little children? Because they see innocence. Why is that innocence there? Because there's no wrong actions. So you're attracted to purity by nature. And that attraction in really sick people is what causes these problems in this culture. And it's a problem in the Muslim world as well. Because that attraction becomes sick. Because there's platonic attraction. There's people that are attracted to virtuous people. That's their nature. There's people that are attracted to those people. But shaitan, nafs, hawa, dunya, they like their portion in attraction. And so they will attempt to take something that's pure and defile it. That's the nature of the dunya, is defilement. It's what the people of Ihsan call kudurat. It's the kudurat of dunya. You kaddiru. Kaddara in Arabic means to stir up the mud at the bottom of a pond. You have a clear pond, limpid, easy to look down and see the bottom. But if you muck up the bottom, then you stir up all of that dirt. Well, that's the nature of the soul, that if you allow these ma'asiyah to be stirred up, they will eventually muddy the purity of the self. Because we are made of mud, and it's our nature, but we're also made of spirit. So whichever one's dominating is the one that's going to show itself. And this is why the light of the aged is a it's not youth, and the darkness of the aged is disobedience. Absolutely sound principle. So if you look out there, I mean, I wanted to do just an experiment where you took all of the pictures of our awliya, our people, righteous people, and then just put pictures of all the old people in the dunya, and just show the faces, just show the faces and let people see for themselves which group they want to be among when they get old. And this is not about knowledge even, because you can see faces of purity in villages amongst the simplest people. And one of the things about us that should prevent us from any type of arrogance or spiritual superiority is that most of us are not even practicing the Islam of the most common people in the villages of the Muslim lands. I mean, if you go to Mauritania, I can show you people that nobody in Mauritania thinks anything of. And they do a juz of Qur'an every morning and every night. They do the ma'thurat of the Prophet every morning and every night. They fast the three days of the month, every month. They give whatever little sadaqah they have to give, which is a lot more than what most of us do, because for him, a quarter is like $100 to us or more. And this is a ammi, it's just a simple Muslim, nothing special there. So that's the type of age we're living in when people that do a little start thinking that they really are something. Part of having taqwa is that you don't fall into those traps because the self by its nature is deceptive. It's constantly trying to deceive you. I mean, it's the nature of the self. The self is delusional. saying is true like when you look into the face of children you feel like this um cute like i would like to say pity and cute like 
you just feel that they don't even know what's going on they don't even know what's coming for them they don't even know anything like they're just kids but when you look at that of an adult like your mind keeps like moving like okay what's going on in this person's head because you feel that actually age like this person is not a child this person has sense do you understand so like i get what he's trying to say and understand that this trick it's actually true like it's actually logical that's just it so guys you put up today's reaction don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one i love you guys signing out bye